The guy looks up with a frightened look and asks someone to tell him what it is in the end. A huge monster with bright blue eyes, unusual horns and long hair rises above him. The man answers the guy that this is the ruler of the snowy plains, the sorcerer Baileys. Half a day ago, the guy's name is Zukayan. Kayan looked at his phone and saw a notification, is this a message from the boss? The boss wrote a request that Zhu, when he arrived, go and help print several copies of this photo. The photo included flowers and gratitude for something. Kayan got angry when he saw this and shouted, he's a freak, isn't this a stupid gif? He was beside himself with rage and added that he would also say to overcome the difficulties, you can just leave the printer alone. And at that moment something incredible happens, and Kayan feels severe pain in her head and screams that it hurts a lot. Who the hell could throw that at him? He was beside himself with rage, looked at his hand and said, wow. And at that moment, an object from a high floor falls on Kayan and he falls on the paving slabs on the street. The people around him turn around and look at him in bewilderment. He lay covered in blood and did not move. People said that he needed to call 120, such a young guy, I feel so sorry for him. Kayan's whole body was covered in abrasions, wounds, cuts and blood. There were conversations that perhaps throwing objects from a great height should be considered a crime. Space-time rift. 5% remains on the phone, the corrector has been detected. Kyan regains consciousness, living in zero gravity and wonders who is saying this. It's all over, consciousness is back, but before he has time to think about this thought, a magical creature appears from the darkness, whose body resembles a bright starry sky, the creature's face resembles the muzzle of a wolf. This creature passes through the magic circle that formed next to Kyan and spoke, setting, opening its mouth in front of the smartphone. At that moment, the guy's phone turned on, the creature looked at the sleeping Kayan in bewilderment, and after a moment several magical rays appeared. The creature looked up with a questioning look, where another magic circle began to form, from which magical waves emerged that wrapped around the entire space around. The creature was frightened by this. The spirit star, you can see many mountains all around, there is snow and wind storms. At this time, a crack appears in the sky, through which Kayan enters this world and falls to the ground. Disaster Relief and Snow Plains Headquarters A company employee looked at the computer monitor and discovered something was wrong. Unknown creatures were visible crawling on the ground. The employee announced, Mr. Zuo, an otherworldly world has appeared in the northern part of the snowy plains. Energy fluctuations have already exceeded the A-class standard. He was told that everything was clear, he needed to immediately send him to the group there, and Mr. Zuo himself would soon arrive there. At this time, many forest inhabitants and a monster appeared around the arriving Kayan. The wolves came closer and stopped nearby, these animals tried to sniff Kayan, who was lying unconscious in the snow. The reflection of the present was visible in the eyes of the magical wolf, and the wolf, seeing this, was truly frightened and dumbfounded. The transformation took place, the wolf's eyes lit up bright red and they ran in the other direction. People arrived in the area, and a company employee shouted that they needed to search to see if there were other victims nearby. The man looked into the distance to try to spot those they could save. The rescue team arrived, there were still many forest dwellers around Kayan, the rescue team found Kayan's body thanks to their dog. One of the rescuers found the guy and shouted, Captain, there's another one here. The dog began to lick Kayan's face, the rescuer came closer to the guy and asked him if he was still alive. He is quite badly injured, but still alive. They gave him a special injection and told him that it would start soon, and also that the boy was lucky, in such a place those centipedes did not eat him. This snow wolf must be his spirit beast. Judging by the footprints around, he was most likely protecting this guy. The wolves were nearby and watched the actions of the rescuers. Kyan woke up, was able to get up and say that his whole body hurt. He wondered where he was. Was he transported to another place? He noticed the snow in front of him, grabbed his head and noted that his head hurt a little, as if a lot of memories were mixed up. He remembered a photograph of his family, a box, a notice, a frame with his parents, familiar people, strange and sinister monsters, and how something fell on him. It was clear from his face that he felt acute pain. He wondered if all these blurry memories were his. Suddenly he looked around and got scared. There was snow all around, it looked like he had really been transported. He didn't understand what happened to him and closed his eyes again. But after a while he started screaming, has it finally been his turn? Where are the cheats? Where is the unprecedented power? It's time to prove yourself. One of the rescuers said, Captain, this guy doesn't seem particularly smart, and the other guy asked again, maybe he has brain damage. The third had nothing to answer to this. Another employee ran up to them and said, Captain, the identity has been established. The guy's name is Su Kayan, age 18, gender male, registration in the northern border city of Yunjo. The captain replied, orphan of the fallen hero, future freshman of Bingyuan College. He is also a talented student from a prestigious school, he needs to be protected. The employee said that with the appearance of this boy, all the people affected by the beast uprising were identified, and the task was completed perfectly. The captain turned to the boy and said, Boy, 
Can he tell me how he survived those centipedes? Kyan looked behind the captain, was dumbfounded with fear and said that he needed to wait because there was something behind him. The fair-haired man said that this was the lord of the snowy plains, the sorcerer Baileys. He didn't need to worry, this creature must be unable to attack them, they would take him back to Linjong City safe and sound. Kyan thought, it must be. He won't die immediately after rebirth, will he? He arrived in some room, his body was bandaged and he said that his whole body hurt, he believed that he was sleeping. But this pain was too real, it was like he was in another world, he squinted and looked into his wallet and said that he was handsome as always. Bingyuan University student card, is this his? Judging by the memories, it was one of the most prestigious schools in the north. Information was transmitted on the screen, they say that in the depths of the northern part of the snowy plains an otherworldly world appear. Otherworldly animals in the form of centipedes escaped from there, and currently all these monsters have been cleared out by night wanderers. Kyan said that this other world seems to be from memories. The public is advised not to visit the northern regions until the exploration of the other world is completed. Chief Day Wanderer Zuo Jing arrived at the entrance to the other world. Kyan thought, isn't this the monster they saw during the day? And suddenly he saw something and said, there is a person on this monster. That's right, judging by the memories received, there is a profession in this world called spirit manager. People can enter into spiritual contracts with spiritual animals of this world, controlling these creatures to conduct battles, conduct reconnaissance, and so on. Kyan spoke, but it seemed that he had not yet become a spirit manager, but suddenly some interesting thought came to him, he sat down on the floor and thought that this was so cool. Confirmation of proofreader status appeared above his head. He looked up and realized that he was hearing that voice again. He turned to the animal sitting next to him and shouted to it that he understood. Is this the animal talking? It became the spirit, didn't it? Does this know that animals are no longer allowed to become personal spirits? The animal just smiled in his face. He said that, damn it, he actually doesn't praise him to make him smile. Suddenly the phone fell out of his pocket, he picked it up from the floor and said, 99%. What is this, a joke? Isn't this the phone he took with him from the ground? What has changed? The system window notifies that the system boot has been completed. The owner is Zukayan, race human, status proofreader. The acquired passive skill is beast tongue, which has the ability to communicate with spirit beasts. The acquired active skill is golden hands. As a traditional art, the owner can pet the contracted spirit beast, and using spiritual power to develop the ability of it, as well as the limit of spiritual powers. A task has been issued for a beginner. You need to appoint a newbie as a spirit manager. The contract with the spiritual beast is zero of one. The reward for the task is the discovery of the camera system functions. Kyan looked at the phone screen with a smile and asked, System. After which he joyfully shouted loudly that so he really got the cheat. He wants to become the Kami of the New World. He looked at the beast, touched his chin, thought and asked, What kind of traditional art is this? Does this mean that if he pets a dog he can make it grow? His eyes glowed red and he said with an ominous look, Become a spirit manager. He scared the animal, grabbed it in his arms and shouted for it to come here. And the moment he hugged the dog, bright magical rays and a starry sky appeared around them. The system window congratulates the newcomer on installing the spirit manager. The camera function is unlocked. He looked at his hands and wondered, is this how he became a spirit manager? But it seems as if nothing has changed. The dog stood next to him with a sad look and bewilderment was expressed on the animal's face. The dog's owner is Zhu Kayan. The status is corrector. The rank of novice spirit manager is one star. The contracted spiritual beast is Snow Wolf. Pseudo, spiritual power is 100 out of 100. The existing skills are beast tongue, golden hands and camera. Kayan looked at the system window and said, of course, the information about it on the system panel has changed. He decided to check out the new camera feature provided by the system. He clicked on the camera icon and a flash came out of the phone. Suddenly, instead of a dog, the same creature that he had already met appeared in front of him. Kyan shouted, Void Beast. So then, that was it. The dog barked at his exclamations. It was not surprising for Kyan, who was with him all the time. The memories say that in order to enter into a contract, one must obtain the approval of a spirit beast. But he just concluded the contract smoothly, is it because it knows him? The dog barked several more times. Kyan stopped it and shouted that it didn't need to shout so loudly. This may bother people. He stopped it with his hand. It was an interruption spell. Kyan began to ask a question. He said that this too does not know how this could happen, and how it happened that this followed him to this world. This does not know how to return and wants him to send this home, so it wasn't resisting his contract, was it? He wondered, is this the power of an animal's tongue? He really understands dog language. The dog growled again and he replied that he understood everything. At the moment he also did not know how to send it home. Well, since they signed a contract, he will take full responsibility upon himself. The dog ran closer to the owner and began to lick his face and barked complete agreement with him. At this moment, Kyan decided that, 
by the way, he wanted to try the Golden Hand skill. In the memories, it was that the natural abilities of individual spirit beasts were classified as inferior, ordinary, good, excellent, and excellent. This is equivalent to human IQ, there is high and low, and spirit beasts with high natural endowments are more likely to assimilate and awaken abilities. Who would have thought that he would be able to enhance the natural endowment of his contracted spirit beasts? He said, using the golden hand skill, he stroked the dog's face and thought about what is even more unrealistic is that this very husky has excellent natural characteristics. The husky seems to have an unusual origin, not to mention the fact that it is a very cool-looking dog. Spiritual strength is 0 out of 100 and he said that he just feels so tired. After these words, he fell to the floor and fell asleep, and the dog continued to bark next to him. The entrance to the other world, next to the crack in the sky where the portal to another world is located, there were several huge monsters and a man sitting on one of these monsters. The creature felt that something unknown was emerging in the depths of this other world. The man sitting on one of the monsters thought deeply and remained silent. Deep in the other world there was a monster skull Appendra that was swarming there. There was a lot of bright purple light and debris from cracks in the sky all around. Some girl smiled at this and looked up. After some time, actions took place in the city among people. A new task appeared, but this time it was to increase the level. A new task has been issued. You need to upgrade the contract spiritual beast to the usual level of the second star. The reward for the task is the discovery of the quick acquisition skill. Quick assimilation. After the battle is over, the spirit beast can gain more experience. The system window shows, Snow Plains Wolf Pseudo, Normal Level, 1 Star, Spiritual Strength 110 and 110, Joyful Mood, Excellent Natural Abilities, Skills are Splitting Claw, Icy Breath, Countless Transformations. The Void Beast has the appearance of a Snow Plains Wolf, the evolution material is Space Time Crystal, Ice Crystal. Kyan looked at the phone and wondered what. Has Husky become an app? There is more data compared to a camera image. Experience, mood indicator, evolutionary materials. It was a husky that Zukain had just taken. It seems that the spirit beast he makes a contract with appears in the system as an attachment. The most important thing is the evolution materials. This ice crystal can still be found in the memories, but the space-time crystal, he has never heard of it. He petted the dog and thought, this is also the amount of spiritual power last night after just one use of golden hands, he lost consciousness. In the end, he was squeezed like lemon and increased the limit of the husky's spiritual powers by only 10 points. Suddenly a girl came up to him, touched him on the shoulder and asked, Kyan, what is he looking at so seriously? There was a look of fear on his face, he wondered what. Yun Yao. He threw the phone away and shouted that he wasn't looking at anything. This girl was the daughter of Zhu Kyan's parents' comrades, her name was Yun Yao. She looked at him questioningly and he remembered many moments from the past associated with her. She grabbed his phone and said that he looked suspicious and asked him to look, after which she asked the question, did he get a dog? He shouted at her to give him back the phone. She peered further and tried to dodge him in order to look even more specifically and said that this was really so. He actually has a dog. She didn't expect that he liked animals, he was crazy. He grabbed the dog and showed it to Yao, saying loudly that this was the same animal. He thought about what happened to him, it seems that he is the only one who can answer special pages of the system, is it because of his status as a proofreader? Yao came closer to the dog and began to stroke it, after which she said, by the way, she heard that the other day he came across a rift in the other world in the snowy plains. He is okay. He replied that he was fine, he was just hurt a little, but fortunately, thanks to the huskies, the other wolves of the snowy plains were driven away, otherwise he was afraid that these animals would gnaw his bones while he was unconscious. She looked at him with a sharp gaze and asked how he could smile while saying such terrible things. She asked the dog, Husky, what is his name? Thanks to this animal, she'll buy him something nice next time. She continued to pet the dog, and he looked at it and suddenly some thought came to him and he decided to ask, Yun Yai, if he could take a photo of her fluffy. She replied that of course he could do it, but he didn't really have any kinky hobbies. Kyan was surprised and asked how this is possible. The system window shows that the object is a snow starry night fox, the level is normal, 4 stars, the spiritual power value is 240 out of 240. Natural data is excellent, snow explosion skills, star capture, after reaching adulthood, close to people snowy night star like cubs, in addition to the ability to control snow and ice, they can borrow the power of the stars. Kyan looked at the phone and said to Yun Yao, she asked him again, what happened? He showed her a photo of the dog and shouted, what did she teach the fluffy at home? She got scared and screamed in rage for him to remove it quickly. She tried to snatch the phone from his hands, after which she cleared her throat, folded her hands in front of her and said, what was he just thinking about with such a sour expression? 
He replied that there was such a thing, he made a contract with this guy last night, and he was worried about how to promote a husky to a two-star, she asked him again, so he became a spirit manager. She thought that he would never make a contract with a spirit animal in his entire life. However, why did he make a contract with the wolf of the snowy plains? There are many snow plains spirit beasts, but few can make a contract with a snow plains wolf. Tyan smiled, hugged the husky and asked, what's wrong with the wolves of the snowy plains? Aren't these cute animals? Besides, he's still alive thanks to this guy. She asked him again, didn't he know that the character of a snow plains wolf was not suitable for concluding a contract? In addition, the natural abilities of snow plain wolves are usually relatively low, and the limit of the spiritual powers of these beasts is not high. He looked into the dog's eyes and wondered what to do, he couldn't tell her that his husky was not a real husky. She laughed, walked closer to him and told him that he need not despair, because they say that wolves of the snowy plains can awaken very powerful companion skills. Although it is rare to hear the awakening of the contract wolf of the snowy plains, Kyan was surprised and asked again in bewilderment, companion skill. Well, what is it? She replied that companion skills could only appear in spirit beasts who had entered into a contract. For example, her star fox has a chance to awaken her companion snow dance skill. Due to the expenditure of spiritual forces, this allows the fluffy to move faster through the snow and ice. Kyan thought about it and answered, yeah, the dog looked at him questioningly. However, the spiritual power of beginner spirit controllers is very weak. Even if the contracted spirit beast has high natural abilities and they are lucky enough to awaken the companion's skill, even a few times will not be needed to expend all the strength, and in serious cases, these creatures may even faint and lose consciousness. However, if it is well rested, then the spiritual power of it will gradually recover. Yao replied that, simply put, we can consider this to be the MP value in the game. Kyan asked, then how can he increase his spiritual power? Yao replied that whenever the contracted spirit animal makes a breakthrough, the contract will nourish the spiritual powers of the spirit manager. Both parties will mutually benefit each other and grow together. This is the original purpose of the spirit contract. However, she had heard that there were natural resources and treasures that could directly increase the spiritual power of a spirit manager, but of course this was not something that they could access with him. Kyan thought about it and asked her again, what about the limit of the spiritual power of spirit beasts? Is this the same as the spirit manager? Yao told him that the limit of the soul and spirit animal's power corresponds to that being's race and level, and it naturally increases, it only requires a breakthrough. Representatives of the same race can differ greatly in their natural characteristics. Superior natural characteristics are stronger than inferior ones. Of course, these powerful spirit beasts are born with a high spiritual power limit, so they usually use the spirit power index to directly determine the strength of a race. Kyan wrote down the key points and spoke like this. This was incredible to him, then isn't it a bug that he can increase the power limit of a spirit animal's soul? Yao said, by the way, he said that he wants the husky to rise to the usual two-star level, right? How about letting her furry dog get some exercise with the husky? Kyan said that her star fox is much higher level than the husky, right? What kind of fight? Fighting a four-star spirit animal should give you a lot of experience, right? She replied that he need not worry, she would be lenient. After these words she said, Fluffy, go ahead. Fluffy rushed to meet the husky, and Yao thought, the star fox is smaller and more agile, but it does not have the same endurance as the snow plains wolf. Although Fluffy is of a high level, it is not a strong spirit beast and cannot withstand several hits from the splitting claw skill. She made a slight movement with her hand and said to use a snow blast and block the view. Her fox quickly ran towards the husky. The husky noticed this and began to bare its teeth. Kyan said, stupid dog, this creature needs to quickly dodge the blow. You need to use ice breath on the snow mass and force it to come out. The husky turned his head, quickly looked at the attacking dog and began to growl loudly, after which many ice shards appeared between them. He thought that the view was blocked and Kyan was surprised by this, and suddenly after a moment Kyan realized what a horror, due to inexperience, he had made a fool of himself. Yao told him that it was really stupid, little Kyan, the fluffy one should use snow blast on the husky this time, she added that you need to remember to be easy. Kyan got angry and told the husky to dodge and use her splitting claws to push the fox away. The husky began to perform the indicated movements, the fox stopped and waited for something, after which a husky appeared among the smoke and stopped. Kyan realized that this was bad, as the husky was covered. He ran up to the dog, hugged it and realized that it was not worth revealing the husky's true form just yet. After these thoughts, he said loudly, okay, they admit defeat. Yao grinned and said that she understood, because she and Fluffy were strong, right? The husky began to growl loudly and bark at the fox out of anger, but after a while the animal calmed down and stared at the fox, after which it began to bark and growl again. Yao asked him, Zio Kyan, is his dog enjoying his protection? 
Kayan remained silent and they moved on. He looked at the phone, the information of which says that the skills of the Eye of True Vision are unknown, it is not unlocked. The fake body of the beast is unknown, not unlocked. Soul fusion is unknown and limitless summoning is also unknown and not unlocked. There are also a lot of unlocked features in the system, I wonder if he needs to level up his husky to unlock it. It looks like he needs to upgrade the husky to two stars as soon as possible and unlock fast absorption to speed up the level increases. In addition, he needs to learn what proofreading means. At this time, among the snowy mountains, one member of the rescue team bowed and said, Mr. Zuo, outwardly, the perimeter of the other world is almost cleared of otherworldly beasts. Mr. Zuo replied that they needed to retreat to the entrance to the other world and he would try to enter there. A portal formed in the sky, towards which Mr. Zuo began to approach, the subordinate replied that he understood this order and would carry it out. After some time, the action moves to the meeting room, where a man congratulates everyone on joining. He is Wang Han, the leader of Group B in Binguan. He continued that they must have seen the news that a new other world has appeared in the northern part of the snow field. According to the application of their educational institution, the military training of freshmen will be carried out in the outside world. The result of this military training will be included in their final grades and will affect their professional classification next semester. Please they should take this seriously. Negotiations began among the students about how there were so many terrifying monsters in that world. Someone asked what he was afraid of. Zuo Jiayu personally went there. It must be safe, otherwise they wouldn't send students there. Someone wanted to go to the operations department. They are the cannon fodder department. Kayan was also sitting in this room. He was bored. He lay down on the table. A husky was sitting next to him and he said, even here he cannot avoid military training. Wang Han continued that they didn't need to worry. The surrounding area had been cleared. Only a few low-level beasts remained there. This will only be an excellent lesson for them in controlling spiritual beasts. By the way, military training will begin in a week. He advises starting training already. They must work in groups of three and look after each other. Kayan thought in bewilderment, Krupp, this is good. This will help him. He sat down with Yao and suggested that I work together and take care of each other. She answered him, okay, but why did he grab the paws of her little animal? Where can they get a third person? Kayan rushed to run and said that it was easy, now he would quickly find someone. He approached the guy sitting alone, greeted him and asked if he already had a group. Would he like to join them? The guy looked at him, thought for a moment and replied, okay, but can he ask who his spirit beast is? He has an ordinary two-star eyes snake. Kayan replied that he has an ordinary one-star snow wolf, that one over there, how is that for him? Very majestic, isn't it? The guy looked at the husky and thought, this is a spiritual beast, he thought that it was just someone's pet, after which he grinned and said that he remembered, he already had a group and said that he should look for someone else. His thoughts were that you definitely couldn't be on the same team with him. Kayan got upset and said that he should have talked about this earlier and not wasted his time. The guy thought, the snow wolves have poor combat power and low obedience, who would want to team up with him? Kayan walked up to another girl and asked if she was already in a group. Would she like to join them? She apologized and asked him to look for someone else. He asked again, what was the problem? Nobody likes their wolf. At this time, the wolf stood and scared away those around him with a stupid expression on his face. Many guys approached Kayan, but everyone refused his request. Someone said behind Kayan's back that the snow wolf is one of the most common and low potential lower races. It's amazing that someone even signed a contract with him. The guy added that he doesn't even know if it's because of stupidity or poverty. Kayan heard all these words when he passed by the guy, which is why he turned to him and shouted, what did he just say? The guy leaned back in his chair and told him to forgive him if he had offended him. Kayan could not answer for a moment and walked past. The guy turned to him. At this time, a guy approached Yao, greeted her and asked if she wanted to join them. They are missing one person. She apologized and said that she already had a group. The guy got upset and left, and at that moment Kayan appeared with a sad look. Yao noticed this and looked at him questioningly. He replied that no one wanted to team up with him. She told him, of course, because everyone wants to be with the strongest. Snow Wolf is not the best choice. At this moment, Kayan looked into the distance with an angry expression on his face, and words were heard in the office for Lu Liang to join one of the companies. Lu Liang has a five-star spirit beast. Does he think he is worthy of it? Let him fail. He should join their group. Lu Liang, they have a man with a three-star beast on their team. Lu Liang apologized and said that he already had a group. The guys asked him again, is there already? What a pity. This conversation was heard by a guy with red hair, who was rude to Kayan. At this time, Kayan was thinking, five stars, but it's okay, he will make them all regret it. He picked up the phone and thought that for now, he could unlock the quick absorption skill, it would definitely impress them during military training. He turned to Yao sitting next to him and asked, Yun Yao, where in the city of Linjiang is there a suitable place to teach beginners how to control the spirit? 
She thought for a moment and replied that this was the Spirit Control Pavilion. She trained there during the summer holidays, they increased the level to the usual four stars. She reached out and added that if she had known that he would choose to control the spirits, she would have taken him with her, and by the way, the pavilion was free for orphans like him. Well, of course, this is limited only by the period of mental control of the beginner, he will be able to raise the level to two stars in just a week. He smiled and asked again, spirit control pavilion, then tomorrow they will go have a look at it. At that moment, his husky growled in his ear and he shouted at the animal to stop barking so loudly in the audience. Husky smiled and looked to the side. At this time, Mr. Zuo was next to a crack in the sky and a huge monster. The rescuers approached him, and he told them to convey his order, let the parade enter the other world tomorrow. The snowy plain army is at the entrance, and they must not forget to remind them that they should not enter the depths of the core of the other world. The rescuers heard him and said, yes. After some time, Yao and Kayan arrived at the information desk, where a company employee greeted him and asked him to please see his ID. He handed over his documents to the employee and the girl thought, are these the children of martyrs? She bowed to Kayan and gave him the documents. There were a lot of guys around with their creatures. He asked, is this the spirit control pavilion? Yao looked into the distance and answered, yes, this layer is especially for beginners, and there is a layer higher up for more advanced ones. Kayan opened his mouth in surprise and then asked, Yun Yao, has she been training here for two months? She replied, yes, it's still free. At first she approached him, but he said that he was going to the snowy field to bring some research. He didn't want to take her with him, she couldn't contact him, she was very glad that in the end, everything is fine with him. After these words, Kayan was dumbfounded and wondered what he was looking for. Why doesn't he remember this? They walked down the corridor and Yao said that they needed to go to room 3105. Kayan was still wondering what he was hiding. Yao looked up, pointed her finger somewhere and said that this was the same place. Kayan was lost in his thoughts and did not hear her, which is why she grabbed him by the jacket and dragged him along, after which she said that she had a feeling that in a past life he was a husky. In the office they met a guy who, when meeting Yao, said that he remembers her, her name is Yun Yao, isn't it? She has four stars, doesn't she? Is she going to start the normal difficulty challenge? She laughed, stopped the guy and said that she wouldn't do this and today she brought a friend. Her fox was sitting on her shoulder and he noted that she was well-mannered. He couldn't forget how easily she came third on the one-star permit list. She scratched her head and said it was just luck. Kayan asked her, what kind of permission list is this? She pointed to the side and said, this is it. The system window reports a list of easy difficulty levels. The first is Zuo Waixu. The completion time is 3 hours 45 minutes 12 seconds. The second is Zi Yan's travel time of 4 hours 40 minutes 36 seconds. The third is Yun Yao's travel time is 4 hours 46 minutes 50 seconds. The fourth Jiang San travel time is 5 hours 10 minutes 20 seconds. She pointed to the table and told him to look because she was third. That's cool, right? He said, wow, he doesn't understand anything, but yes, it's cool. She replied that it was amazing. There are 200 two-star snowboards in a simple testing ground. Ordinary people cannot go through this at all. Those who can get on the list can receive many rewards. She thus received four stars. He asked her what, awards, which, he was delighted, clapped his hands and added that those who were on the list will be given a lifetime VIP, and all the facilities in the entire building can be used at a discount. The guy replied that as for the reward, it would not disappoint him, none of the aspiring spirit lords said that he did not like it. He asked again, is this really so? After that, he asked, brother, does he want to take the test? Where is his contract spirit beast? He folded his hands and showed the husky, after which he said that this was his animal, isn't it terrifying? The guy laughed and said that there was no need to joke like that, the snow wolf was his spiritual beast. The guy was beside himself with shock and asked again, are they serious? Although this test is easy, but 200 two-star snowboards are simulated on the training ground, it will be difficult for Snow Volkov to defeat even one snowboard. Moreover, he only has one star. A low-level race such as the Snow Wolf will not be able to pass the normal difficulty test. He advises giving up and not letting the contracted spirit beast suffer. Kayan replied that until he tried it, he would not know. He clenched his fist and asked the guy if he could start the test. The guy answered him with a sad look that he could do it, since it was his choice, and he would notify the medical staff. He turned to Yao and asked if she would stop him. She replied that she believed in him. They start, Kayan and the husky find themselves among the snowy hills. A huge beast appeared in front of them. Kayan said that when the door runs up, the husky should jump and attack the neck of this monster with its claws. The huskies don't have to show their main body, they only need to hold out to get a second star. The husky heard everything that was said and barked, and after a moment the monster was already approaching the dog. At this moment, the husky does a somersault and hides from the monster, and at this time the monster wonders how this happened. The husky slowly lands behind the monster, the monster notices this and runs to attack the dog again. 
the husky was dumbfounded and Kyan shouted to the animal to look around, because many more animals appeared behind the dog. The monster was approaching the husky, but the dog attacked the monster, after which it did a somersault and turned towards the rest of the monster, but this monster attacked the husky and it flew some distance away. The guy was surprised that his one-star wolf really had something special, he couldn't believe that this wolf could still stand up. Yao quickly looked at the dog with hope and mentally wished Kyan good luck. Kyan looked at the husky, who managed to get up and looked into his eyes. In front of the dog there were more and more monsters that surrounded it, and after a moment the thoughts began to attack the dog. The husky fell into the snow, the dog's entire body was covered in cuts, wounds and blood. The husky's eyes lit up with a bright light, which Yao noticed, she was very surprised and wondered what it was. Bright red rays of light formed around the husky, the dog's eyes were full of confidence and it rushed into the distance with an ominous look. Yao and the guy looked at the screen and followed the movements taking place. The guy asked, does the wolf of the snowy plains have a similar skill? Yao replied, Red Aura, this is also the first time she has seen a snow wolf in this state. The guy replied that it seemed to him that he had already seen this somewhere, but he couldn't immediately remember it. At this time, the husky was in a state of rage, stopped in front of the monsters and growled loudly. The monsters were perplexed and opened their eyes in surprise at what they saw. The guy was stunned by what he saw and asked, is this the pressure of the lord? An intimidation skill that only population rulers have, an ordinary level 1 spirit beast suddenly appeared. Yao looked at him questioningly and asked again, intimidation. The guy answered her that this is a skill that rulers are born with, if it was an ordinary snow boar, it would have been stunned or it would have run away in fear. Only these snow boars are virtual, they have no self-awareness and these are not afraid of intimidation. Kyan had nothing to say and he watched what was happening. Explosions were happening all around, from which stones were scattered, and at that moment the husky suddenly began to run towards the monsters and defeat one by one. The guy looks at this in bewilderment. The husky ended up in the snow, lying completely covered in blood. The guy thought about the fact that as they say, ants will kill an elephant, even if it awakened the skill of intimidation, it will not be easy for this to defeat the virtual boars. Yao was dumbfounded and said that this is not a simple snow wolf at all, is it? The boars were rapidly approaching the husky, and as soon as these creatures came close, the husky jumped up, made several movements and attacked the boars. Kyan looked at his animal in fear and asked what was happening to the husky. Why did it suddenly become so much stronger? Was it really using the skills of his main body? Kyan took the phone and the system window reported that the snow plains wolf is pseudo, the level is normal, one star, spiritual strength is 110-110. The mood is irritated, the natural abilities are excellent, now in a state of unknown blessing, skills splitting claw, ice breath, countless transformations, unknown blessing. The unknown blessing I am able to force the contract is the spiritual beast to enter the state of awakening the true beast, a blessing from an unknown being. He wondered, a blessing from an unknown creature. Well, when did this skill appear? Is this red mist the awakening of a true beast? It's pretty ferocious. At this time, the husky continued to attack, everything around was in red spots, and after a moment there was a bright explosion, consisting of red and blue shades, and the guy realized what it was. He remembered, this red blood mist is similar to the bloody aura of the Kuimu wolf, but this is the legendary race of the true ancestors of the wolves, how could it appear in the body of the snow plains wolf? Awakening the bloodline, he had heard that some contracted spirit beasts could ignite the blood of the ancients at the fateful moment. He added that there is awakening along the bloodline, but only individuals with the most excellent natural data have a minimal probability of awakening. Awakening one ordinary level star, and even a snow wolf, is unheard of. He thought about how this snow plains wolf state seemed even more powerful than the awakening of the bloodline. Who would have thought that he would have the opportunity to see such a legendary event with his own eyes? After awakening to the flat line, it defeated 44 two-star snow boars. Current test subject Zukayan, the number of remaining virtual spirit animals is 156. Yao, full of joyful emotions, asked, does this mean that Zukayan can pass the test? He replied, of course he can do it. In addition, if the bloodline awakening state can last longer, there is a possibility that he could compete for the first place on the list, he needs to report this to the boss as soon as possible. Yao was very happy for him and shouted, Baby Kyan. She raised her hands in delight and clenched it into fists. May he continue to kill these monsters. Forward, the guy smiled and said that he couldn't hear her. Kyan was worried about his spirit beast and shouted to the animal to tell the husky to be careful. There were many bloody stains and smoke residues from the fierce struggle all around. The wolf remained in the middle of the battlefield and peered in different directions. Kyan asked how many of these monsters are there after all. There is no end in sight. The system window reports that rapid assimilation has occurred, increasing the speed of development of the contract beast. Wolf of the Snowy Plains Pseudo, normal level, 2 stars, spiritual power 44 out of 210. 
The system window congratulates the owner on completing the beginner's task and obtaining the skill quickly mastered. Rapid absorption means that the cultivation speed of the contracted spirit beast will be increased. Snow Wolf Pseudo, rank normal level 2 stars increased, spiritual strength 44 out of 210. Mood Calm, natural ability excellent, now in a state of unknown blessing. Claw splitting skills, ice breath, countless transformations, unknown blessing, rapid absorption. By awakening the Snow Plains Wolf's companion skill carnivorous habit, the Snow Plains Wolf can capture some of the opponent's spiritual powers and use it for their own purposes. Kyan was surprised by this and asked again, promotion, awakened, or is it a passive type of companion skill? The system window shows, with a carnivorous habit, the Snowy Plains Wolf can take part of the opponent's spiritual powers and use it for his own purposes, as if it had awakened specifically for this situation. Kyan continued to look at the movements of his beast in bewilderment, the husky's eyes lit up again, he threw back his paw and again attacked the new boar, which caused a lot of bright light. He said, the ice breath skill is of little use for thick-skinned snow boars, can only continue to use the splitting claw, if only it would not awaken this skill. He is afraid that the husky's spiritual power would not be able to withstand if the husky could independently activate this unknown blessing skill. Together with the rapid absorption, then perhaps the animal could even rise to three ordinary stars before military training. He continued to watch the fight taking place and the ease with which the husky overpowered his opponents. The guy watching what was happening noted the fact that almost half of it had already been completed. Although the interval is getting longer and longer, and the speed of defeating snow boars is slowing down, how can his snow wolf still use the splitting claw skill? Did the awakening of the bloodline also restore spiritual strength? He turned to Yao and wondered if it was possible that some special companion recovery skill had awakened in this beast. The guy said that he had never seen a spirit beast awaken a companion's skill during the transition from one star to two, not to mention that it was not typical for a snow plains wolf to even have good natural abilities. He acknowledges the fact that this child's snowy plains wolf is unusual, but this animal cannot have excellent natural characteristics, right? Yao was silent for a while, and then said that Kyan told her that her snow plains wolf had excellent natural abilities. The guy was stunned for a moment and looked at her questioningly, after which he laughed and replied that this is true, having just seen this awakening of the bloodline, the excellent natural data does not seem so shocking. After which he said in a trembling voice that this is still the wolf of the snowy plains that he knows. Bloodline Awakening, Companion Skill At this time, the husky is still for sale to fight with the wild boars and attack one by one. At some point Kyan shouted to his beast to jump, the husky jumped up into the air and Kyan realized, so 200 snow boars is that much. It seems that killing everyone is simply completely impossible. The boars surrounded the husky and tried to attack it. The system window reports, current member Zhu Kyan, the number of remaining virtual spirit beasts is 83, the elapsed time is 1 hour 47 minutes 51 seconds. Kyan was very happy about this and shouted with joy. The number of virtual spiritual beasts is 70, the number of virtual spiritual beasts is 24. The husky dealt with the boars so quickly and deftly that it surprised everyone who saw this fight. They returned from that world with their heads held high and the guy asked, Is this animal really a wolf of the snowy plains? Kyan cleared his throat and replied, Of course. The guy repeated, Snowy plains wolf, how about trying to go and make a contract with snowy plains wolf in the wild? Suddenly they noticed that the rating had changed. Yao smiled, folded her hands in front of her and said, Did she tell him that he would do this? At this time, in the city, some guy was surprised and said, So that everyone around him would look at it, The entire list of easy difficulty leaders for level 1 has been updated. People were wondering, how is this possible? How could anyone get ahead of Zuo Waiksu? Looks like they really updated it. Zhu Kayan, when did such a person appear in Linjiang City? He took first place as soon as he arrived here. This is even more impressive than Zuo Waiksu back in the day. It took Zuo Waiksu almost a week to take first place. A genius has come to the city of Linjiang. Everyone was wondering what kind of spirit beast this Zhu Kayan had made a contract with. It must be a super powerful rare spirit beast. This beast's passing speed is almost an hour faster than Zuo Waiksu's. Kyan was proud of himself and felt very great, he rejoiced at his victory. The system window reports that the easy difficulty list is 1, Zhu Kyan, completion time is 2 hours 53 minutes 30 seconds, all other candidates from the list have moved one step back. Zhu Kyan has raised his level. Kyan asked the guy, by the way, what is his passing time? The guy was dumbfounded, hesitated, and then said, his completion time, now he will watch it. Two hours and fifty-three minutes, this is almost an hour faster than Zuo Waiksu. Kyan was delighted and shouted, then it turns out that he is the first. The husky howled and Kyan repeated that he was first and grinned. 
He wondered what the reward for this would be, it would be good if they gave him money. Yao ran up to him and said in a rage that he should not talk about what he was thinking about money. The reward for first place should be especially valuable, something that cannot be bought for any money. He was afraid of her reaction and the guy said that they don't have to worry about it. For brother Zhu Kayan, their institution will not skimp on the reward. Kayan opened his eyes with anticipation and hope and asked, so what kind of reward will this be? The guy replied that at the moment, he cannot say this for sure, because it depends on the will of the owner of the pavilion. Of course, he would not be disappointed, because the last time Zuo Waikzu took first place, the owner gave her a precious fire crystal. This is a necessary material for evolution, it can't even be exchanged for 1000 gold. And at that moment he was surprised and asked again, where did they go? They left the office and Kayan asked Yun Yao where she picked up her reward. She replied that she did it in the lobby and told him not to ask for money. At that moment, Kayan noticed something, it was a guy running towards them and shouting for them not to leave him behind. He couldn't let him leave, because he needed to be introduced to the owner of the pavilion. He shouted at them to wait for him, but at that moment they approached the information desk, behind which a man stood. The guy saw this and thought, is he the owner of the pavilion? As the vice president of the Snowy Plains Spirit Control Association, the master is usually very busy, and even when he returns to the spirit control pavilion, he doesn't show himself in public, so why did he do this today? Kayan pulled out a piece of paper and said, Uncle, he has come to collect his reward. The man replied, Zhu Kayan, he is number one at the light level of the first floor, right? Suddenly, those around him turned around in surprise and wondered, is he Zhu Kayan? The one who bypassed Zuo Waikzu doesn't look a bit like this. If he is not mistaken, this is the Wolf of the Snowy Plains. Did he make a contract with the Wolf of the Snowy Plains? Is it possible to take first place with the Wolf of the Snowy Plains? Someone said that the Snow Fox was his contract spirit animal. The man asked Kyan, did he make a contract with this Snow Plains wolf? He replied that everything was correct. The man became quite curious. This Snow Plains wolf could actually do this. It seems like the awakening of the bloodline, which is very unexpected. He will look forward to the development of these two. The Snow Plains one-star wolf topped the list when first visiting the Spirit Control Pavilion. This child could become the second Zuo Waikzu. No, perhaps his future achievement may even surpass hers. After these thoughts, the man asked, what does he want? Whatever he can, he can provide to him. Kayan asked him again, will he really give him what he wants? Is he supposed to be in charge here? Uncle, the guy standing nearby was ashamed of him, that this stupid kid, does he know who he is standing in front of, how dare you say that? The man replied that of course he would give it to him, after all, he founded this spirit control pavilion. Kayan and Yao stood in bewilderment, they were very scared and shouted, is he the owner of the pavilion? The man replied that this was true, so, he decided exactly what he wanted. Kayan said with a smile, can he ask for money? Yao was furious and pinched him, after which Kayan said that he was joking and that he would be happy with whatever item they chose for him. The man laughed and said, what a brat, he likes his ingenuity. Since he says that, he doesn't want to give him something bad. The man thought that he was an interesting guy and it was not for nothing that he came to meet him personally. After which Yao and Kayan held hands and he said, how about this, in addition to the usual rewards. The materials for the first evolution of the Snowy Plains Wolf with whom he entered into a contract will be fully paid for by the Spirit Control Pavilion. What will he say? Is he satisfied with such a reward? They looked at him questioningly, Yao couldn't listen to this. Kayan thought that he hoped that he could become the representative of the governing spirits of Linjiang City in the upcoming competition and show what he was capable of. The surrounding people wondered, are all the materials for evolution? Isn't this reward better than Zuo Waikzu? Does the owner of the pavilion really have a higher opinion of this young man? The Snow Plains wolf evolution materials are not necessarily that valuable, right? It's a pity that this is just a Snow Plains wolf, the materials provided for evolution are likely to be wasted. Kayan smiled and thanked the pavilion owner for his rewards. The man added that by the way, with the strength that his Snowy Plains wolf demonstrated, would he like to try to overcome the level on normal difficulty? Kayan held his head and asked again, try a higher difficulty level right after the first one? He has a pretty high opinion of it, doesn't he? The man replied that he was a very modest guy, he grinned and said he was joking, but he was too busy to spend a few hours watching his test. Then, it's okay. Kyan thought that at the moment it is unclear what exactly is happening to the husky, so there is no need to draw too much attention. Although it seems to have already caused quite a stir. The man told him to remember to book in advance if he wanted to take the normal difficulty test. He wished he could see with his own eyes the awakening of the Snow Plains Wolf bloodline. The next day, many people gathered near the screen and discussed that this guy, the one who took first place yesterday, was Zhu Kayan, right? Someone would like to see how strong his snow wolf is. 
Has anyone imagined that even the wolf of the snowy plains is capable of taking first place? Scam, is this really some kind of scam? Everyone was furious and wanted to reveal his true colors today. Kyan entered the task and pointed the wolf aside with the words, splitting claw. Husky tried to cope with the newly appeared enemies. Day 3, one of the guys watching him said that it looks like they were right, in reality he is not that strong. The girl said that he and his wolf of the snowy plains, they are both trying very hard. This is already the third day of continuous intense training. The other guy said, yeah, he could do that too. Kyan watched his beast's actions and thought that as expected, without using true beast awakening again, the passing time slowed down. But the two-star husky's skill carnivorous habit was able to cope with ordinary level trials completely effortlessly. Day 4, one of the guys said that he had to admit that there really was something in his wolves of the snowy plains, at least a little. Someone disagreed with this, and the girl said in delight that Zukayan was so handsome, and so was the wolf of the snowy plains. The guys came back to her and said that she was crazy. At this time, Kayan was thinking that with this kind of training and the help of the quick absorption skill, he thought that he could practically reach three stars in military training. He sat and looked at the phone while his beast fought monsters. Then the fifth, one of the guys asks, bro, has he come again? The guy answered him that he hadn't seen brother Kayan's snowy plains wolf all day, he couldn't resist. His snowy plains wolf is truly eye-catching, making him want to make a contract with one of them in the wild. Brother Kyan and his snowy plains wolf, that's what they're aiming for. The girl behind them said, Kyan. She held two pink sticks, handed the rest the same ones, and the three of them shouted, Brother Kyan. Mighty. Kyan Kyan, go ahead. This screen was visible to Kyan. He held a glass of drink in his hand and thought about what he remembered. Yun Yao said that she killed two months to get four stars, while he is going to get three in a week, which should be pretty fast. He rested and enjoyed life. The best in class seems to have five stars, he is confident that he will soon catch up and even surpass them. In the tests for beginners who control spirits, there are three difficulty levels. From one to three stars is an easy difficulty level, from four to six stars is a normal difficulty level, from seven to nine stars is a difficult difficulty level. If it reaches three stars, you can actually try to switch to the normal difficulty level. But after these days, the training feels more and more easy. Perhaps it's time to go to the snowy plains or the other world. Fight so that the husky will improve significantly. In comparison, the other world is more dangerous and has more opportunities. This is military training a good chance familiarize yourself with this. Suddenly Kyan noticed something was wrong and started shouting to his animal that it was a husky, not a herding dog. Which put the husky into a state of bewilderment. Lu Liang's house. The guy was looking at the computer with an embarrassed expression on his face, a blue-haired girl could be seen on the computer monitor. She looked at the screen in fear as someone from behind came in and said, Young master, recently in the spirit control pavilion, a newcomer appeared at the top of the easy difficulty list. It seems to be one of his classmates. Lu Liang jumped up and shouted that the next time he came here, he needed to remember to knock on the door. Lu Liang looked at the piece of paper and said, this man. It seems that no one wanted to form a team with him, such a person was able to update Zuo Waixu's record, which no one could beat for 10 years. During military training, he wanted to be alone on the team, but now he doesn't even know if his team has enough people. Military training training day has arrived. Yao and Kayan got off the public transport and Kayan thought about how he had been continuously killing for so many days in the spirit control pavilion and the husky feels that he will soon reach three stars. During military training he will try his best strength to finish off three stars before returning. When this happens, he will try the normal difficulty challenge. A man came closer to her and said that their team was complete, were they confident in their abilities? Yao and Kayan replied, boss, basically the two of them. The boss looked at Lu Liang and asked, is this really true? He hesitated and said that it was nothing, teacher, he just forgot to apply. Having noticed this situation, people looked in bewilderment. Lu Liang walked up to Kayan and shook his hand with the words, classmate Zhu Kayan, can he join his team? Kayan looked into his eyes and Liang asked him again, Zhu Kayan, is their team still missing one person? Does he think he can join their team? His spirit beast is a five-star snow elf. Liang thought that he would now take the opportunity to test the real strength of the leader in the ranking. He was training right at home, so he did not have a good chance to go to the spirit control pavilion. A classmate approached them and asked with curiosity, Lu Liang, how did it happen that he was on the same team with them? Liang asked him with a smile on his face, don't they all already have full teams? The guy asked him back in rage, but didn't he say before that he already had teammates? Liang replied with a grin that he had business temporarily and was just leaving then. The guy pointed at Kayan and shouted, in a state of shock, that there was only one contract beast on their team, and it was a one-star snow plains wolf. Liang chuckled and replied that he didn't mind since they were the only team short of people. Other guys came up to them and shouted that he could join their team, he should not join this team of losers. One of the girls yelled at another girl who was a member of her team and told her to get out of their team. 
The girl asked again with a frightened expression on her face, what, are they kicking her out? Didn't they agree on this before? The girl answered her that Lu Liang has a five-star snow elf, he is equal to three like her. The girl pointed her finger at Kayan and shouted, the classmate who made a contract with the wolf of the snowy plains, let him return Lu Liang to them. Kayan asked her again, does he owe her anything? Liang covered his face with his hands in shame, after which Kayan turned to his boys, looked at them while they were in silence, after which he turned around sharply and shouted to the girl that he was asking for forgiveness. But he had just handed the list to the teacher, so her Lu Liang is already on his team, a woman, she simply has no chance. The girl at that moment became very angry, after which she grabbed the girl, whom she had already kicked out, by the hand and led her back screaming, to think that Lu Liang would have to protect this idiot is simply unbearable. Liang smiled and said, it seemed like he had caused them a little trouble. Yun Yao replied that everything is fine, they don't mind. Kayan replied that it was good that he joined their team, otherwise there would only be two of them on this team. The boss turned to all the guys and said, since all the teams are complete, then everyone should get on the buses. The guys boarded the buses and hit the road. The red-haired guy was riding on the bus next to the guys and thinking with envy that this young master Lu was really cunning. He chose a team that no one in the class wanted to join in order to use this team as a shield. Well, how can he achieve results in this training if he chose a team of losers? And is there really only one warrior in the field? He can't do it even if he's twice as strong. He looked at Yun Yao and wondered, oh no, that girl had a rather rare snow fox. What was the use of a snow plains wolf who was a one star a week ago and would now meet his death as a two star? Isn't this beast a nuisance to them? What good does his choice do to him? If it was just about demonstrating one's own strength, then it would be quite possible to create a team alone, so is it really possible that that snow fox is very strong? This loser's name is Zhu Kayan. This is a somewhat familiar name, similar to the one who recently broke Zuo Waixu's record in the Spirit Control Pavilion and attracted quite a lot of attention. A two-star snow plains wolf who can pass the test in the Spirit Control Pavilion. This is complete nonsense, most likely he is just a namesake. Lu Liang at this moment turned to Zhu Kayan and asked with a smile on his face, it was he and this little guy who smashed the ranking of spirit managers the other day, right? Kayan replied, yes, that's true, but how did he know? He replied that he made so much noise that it was difficult for him not to be recognized. He thinks that the students in their class have not yet realized that he was the one who broke Zuo Waixu's record. He probably doesn't know that in their management pavilion, in the ranks of novice, apprentice and pro spirit manager, it has held all existing records for 10 years. And he is the first to break his record, although he is only at beginner level on easy difficulty. Kayan smiled back at him and thought, oh my god, it turns out that the top part of the list that he was fighting for is so good. Liang added to his words, what luck there, those who were included in the ranking won the victory with their strength. He should know that it is more dangerous near the other world. But still, fighting in the other world is the only way to develop the strength of his contract spirit beast. So, when they get there, why don't they head into the interior and have some fun there? Kayan thought about it and answered, yes, he just wanted to see what otherworldly beasts were like. And at that moment he himself thought, maybe he could find the key to the missing fragment of his memory. Yao asked them back with dissatisfaction, don't they even want to know her opinion on this matter? Kayan grinned and asked her again, wouldn't she go with them? She told him angrily that she would go, but they could not ignore her and make decisions arbitrarily. Kayan and Liang smiled back at her and agreed with her. At this moment, Kayan asked her, by the way, why didn't he see other contact animals? Yao replied that they all keep their beasts in the spirit domain and only summon these beasts when they need to fight. He asked again, spiritual domain, what is this? She replied that it was a kind of portable space that used the spirit contract as an intermediary. It allowed the contracted spirit beasts to rest and recover. This could be opened by all spirit managers. At that moment, her beast appeared before his eyes, a bright magical light was coming out of her chest, she decided to show him how it works. He looked at it in bewilderment and thought about his husky sitting in a dark, windowless room with two food cups, after which he asked her how it could be opened. She replied that it was very simple, he needed to precisely direct his power so as to feel the contact of the spirit with his spiritual beast, the contract would open the spiritual domain in him. Kayan was very surprised by this and Liang added to her words that he does not often use his spiritual domain, because his beast is small and does not take up much space, does not take up space at all. Kayan patted the husky on the head and asked them again, he needs to feel the spirit agreement, right? Yao replied, of course, this is not an easy process, it takes a beginner who controls spirits a week or even more to be able to do it, but at that moment Yao raises her eyes and looks up in fear. Her gaze was drawn to Kayan, who was able to send his husky to the domain on the first try. Yao and Liang could not understand how he could do it so quickly and looked at him in fear without turning away their gaze. Kayan did it easily, but at the moment when all the strength began to accumulate in his chest, he was a little scared, but when everything passed, he smiled and said that he had opened it. 
The guys could not utter a word, but after a moment Yao smiled and replied that she congratulated him, Kayan. At that moment, she herself thought that it took her three days to open her spiritual domain. Liang also thought that while he spent a couple of days to open the spiritual domain, Zhu Kayan did not even need two minutes to do it and at that moment he realized that he had made the right choice by teaming up with him. And after a while, a rescue team arrived at some place in a large truck with cargo, and this cargo was monsters. One of the guys said, it seems that new students from Bingyuan University have arrived, their administration is really smart. They managed to start military training just in time for the other world that had just opened, they are killing otherworldly beasts here, and they seem to be going on a campaign. The other guy told him that he shouldn't say that, because who knows, maybe one of them will become his comrade in the future. And that guy added to his words, besides, they kill otherworldly beasts for the sake of their future, right? After which he suggested that we just calmly finish these monster carcasses, they have quite a big beast here. Yet this wasp is supposedly superior to the normal level and it should be an elite level queen. Even if it is so strong, didn't they kill it? He laughed and the other guy told him not to be so arrogant. At that moment, green liquid began to drip from the monster and it began to move. At this time, Kayan, Liang and Yao got off the bus and looked around. The guys started screaming to see what it was. What a big centipede this is, it's an otherworldly beast. They were surprised at what a big beast it was. Ah Kayan was thinking at this moment, this spiritual domain is so amazing. One of the guys, looking curiously at the killed monster, noticed the movement of this monster and asked his friend if he saw it too. Just now this Scolopendra seemed to be moving, does he think it's still alive? Could it happen that it would suddenly attack them? His friend told him not to say such things, he only knows how to scare people. Kayan thought that inside the spiritual domain, he could communicate with the husky through his consciousness, only now the space of the spiritual domain is still not enough. But it seems that spirit beasts really like this place. The guys from the rescue team went outside and one of them said that they had arrived to hand over the pipe to the otherworldly beast. The other guy replied, okay, he'll call someone now to unload this carcass. But at that moment they did not have time to do anything when the monster began to twitch and crawl out of the car. Everyone around got scared and someone shouted, it looked like something was crawling out of there. The children started screaming in fear and running in the other direction, shouting that they needed to get away from here quickly. Someone shouted that this guy said these things and now everything happened like this, why are there living otherworldly animals here? One of the rescuers shouted that the fleeing animals must be destroyed immediately, the priority is the safety of the students. The other rescue guys replied that they understood everything and would carry out this order. At that moment, many other small monsters began to crawl out of the monster and someone asked the question, is this how centipedes give birth? He can't believe they couldn't find a single living larva in that monster's corpse. Judging from the known information, these outsiders scolopendras have even the weakest larvae at the usual level of 7 stars. If it rushes into the crowd, he is afraid that it will be a one-sided massacre, and he imagined many children being killed. The monster headed towards one frightened girl, who stood alone, clutching her head and screaming at the monster not to eat her. And one of the guys shouted, what a horror, they have too few people. The girl continued screaming for help, someone. The monster approached her closely and she closed her eyes in fear. The monster had already begun to attack her, but at that moment the husky Kayan attacked the monster and removed it from the girl's path. The girl fell to the ground, Liang ran up to her and asked if she was okay. She looked him in the eyes and replied, she's fine. Liang looked at the monster and thought, this Scolopendra looks to be at least an ordinary six-star level or even higher. This guy, Zhu Kayan, he doesn't even know whether to call him a brave person or just a reckless person. After which the husky stopped in front of the attacking monster of the usual level of seven stars. The monster made terrible sounds and at that moment the husky began to attack it with his magical powers. Yao shouted, Fluffy, let it continue to use the snow explosion in front of her eyes. And she herself thought about the fact that her snow fox is so small, she is afraid that it will not withstand one blow, what should she do? At this moment, Kayan straightened his arm and shouted, Husky, this is a good opportunity, let it use the splitting claw. And the husky used his skills and the monster flew to the side, among the smoke from the battle, the red eyes of the monster were visible, aimed at the guys. Kayan wondered if it worked. But at that moment the monster came out of the fog and everyone got scared. Kayan thought with a frightened expression. The husky's telling claw didn't even leave a mark on the monster, yet this thing has a very strong body. And all the guys on the team looked closely at the monster, while the rest of the guys ran away from there in fear. And Yao, Kayan and Liang knew that they couldn't let this monster get into the crowd of people. Liang used his magic and shouted, Snow Song. 
Snow Song has an inspiring and calming effect on the creatures of the snowy plains, the sounds of the song briefly increase combat power. The husky forgot and Liang told the guys that his spiritual beast was not strong in attack, he would hold back the monster and let them attack this creature. The guys agreed with him and began to attack the monster. At this moment, the other guys continued to run away and they were screaming in fear that everyone should quickly return to their cars and wait until the clearing of the otherworldly beasts was completed. They should not come out of hiding, and the boss said, Snow Eagle. After which his beast came out and he shouted that it needed to protect those students and also not allow otherworldly beasts to get close to them. He directed all the power of his eagle to help them and Liang pointed his hand at the monster and shouted, Companion skill. Blizzard. His beast enveloped everything around in a blizzard. Kyan looked at the sky with fear and fell to the ground like a monster, after which he stopped and wondered, looking at Lu Liang, and he was the one who said that he was not strong in attack. At that moment his husky began to act and ran straight towards the monster. All the guys fell silent in anticipation and realized that the otherworldly beast was wounded. Awakening the true beast and combining it with Lu Liang's snow song could actually injure the otherworldly beast. The system window reports that the object is an otherworldly beast Scolopendra. The level is the usual level of 7 stars. The amount of spiritual power is 530 out of 700. The skills are biting and tearing with poisonous fangs, entwining. A beast that appeared from the other world. Kyan looked at the phone and thought, these skills, this monster has no long-range moves. Until it gets close to them, it won't be able to do anything, so they should hit this creature and not worry about it. At that moment, the red-haired guy stood in the middle of a crowd of running and frightened children and did not understand why this was happening. Why are they able to resist this? Why was his first reaction to run away from the battlefield with everyone else? He looked at his trembling hands and did not understand at all why his body was trembling, but they were not afraid. At this moment, Yao screamed, Fluffy, Snow Explosion. She will block this monster's view. She continued to use her magical powers and Liang looked at the husky with curiosity and wondered what kind of skill this was. Why can Snow Wolf Zukayan cause damage to the beast? Is this a new companion skill that is not on the spirit animal profile? At that moment the husky stopped right next to the monster and the monster opened its mouth for a poisonous bite. Kyan shouted in fear to his husky that the mouth of this monster is poisonous, so the husky should dodge as quickly as possible. The monster began to attack and at that moment the boss arrived at them with his animal eagle and spoke in bewilderment as he stopped behind them. These newcomers had some attack skills that they were able to stick to for so long in the fight with the beast and even cause damage to this monster. And he shouted to his snow eagle to fly, a magical bright light burst out of his chest and he thought, true, they can cause damage to the beast, but it is not serious damage, so let them continue. But he is afraid that this will only anger the beast, and an angry beast is not so easy to defeat. At this moment, the children who got scared and boarded the bus continued to watch the battle from the window and one of the girls said with misunderstanding to the others to look at it. Isn't it Lu Liang fighting the monster there? The other girl shouted back, what? Didn't student Lu Liang evacuate? So he fights with the beast. Lu Liang stood opposite the enraged beast, around which a snow mass formed, which knocked it down, behind Liang stood Yao, who also used her magical abilities. But suddenly something alerted them and the monster immediately headed towards the husky, which Kyan shouted with with a dumbfounded look. Liang shouted to get out of the way. At this moment, one of the monsters headed straight towards Yao, who wondered how this monster suddenly became so fast. It's too late for her to leave this road. The guys from the bus screamed in fear, watching them, be careful. At that moment, the monster grabbed Yao in its clutches, and the poisonous mucus from the monster's mouth began to roll down directly to Yao's face. Her body trembled, but at that moment there was a strong snow explosion, which Kyan created to intimidate the monster and the husky approached the monster and directed his magic, because of which the monster could not cope and released Yao and she fell to the ground and began to cough, and Kyan and Liang were dumbfounded when they saw her condition, as they were afraid for her. The boss looked into the distance at the monster and wondered if the Berserk Beast's state was interrupted by this snow wolf's intimidation skill. Why does a low-level snow wolf have an intimidation skill? Yao got up from the ground and shouted to the other guys to quickly use this opportunity to attack and not hesitate to do so. The Scolopendra began to look around and noticed the husky, who at the same second attacked her and the Scolopendra began to fall. Yun Yao told Fluffy that she was fine and asked him to help them. Fluffy moved into battle directly at the Scolopendra and attacked her in the side, but there wasn't even a wound there. The husky finished off the centipede on the head. Zukayan told Lu Liang to finish off the monster before he recovered from his skill. Lu Liang activated the ice pins and ordered the elf to attack Scolopendra's wound with the ice pin. Many ice fragments attacked the Scolopendra and caused damage to it. Zukayan looked at the monster and shouted that the weak point was the abdominal cavity. Yun Yao understood everything and ordered the Fluffy to continue attacking the monster's belly using the star swing skill. 
Tsukayan ordered the husky to attack the monster's wound, and the spirit beasts rushed forward. They attacked the centipede with their skills, causing it to fall to the ground. Wang Han can't believe that they analyzed the beast's weak points in real combat and were able to find an effective strike. Now this monster is completely dead. The ice fragments that were in the Scalopendra's body dug into the flesh even more strongly. The beast dealt the final blow and Yun Yao, out of anger, began to kick the dead soul of the centipede. She asked this reptile not to bother her. Lu Liang said that his spirit beast could no longer sense the life force in the centipede. It looks like this beast is already dead and now it definitely won't budge. The student on the bus wondered why they were able to do this. Aren't they afraid to die? Classmates breathed a sigh of relief because they were all right. The military man ran up to the students and asked if they were okay. Are there any injuries? Yun Yao said that no, the animals were just a little tired, so rest and recovery would not hurt them. The military man looked at the husky, who was happily wagging his tail, and wondered if this animal looked tired. Wang Han thought that although it turned out that the three of them worked to kill the beast, the snow wolf still played a decisive role in this battle. Zukayan patted the wolf on the head and praised him, after which the system announced the end of the battle. He raised his level to three stars, the Splitting Claw skill turned into Ice Splitting Claw. With this skill, the wolf attacks with the claws of a snow wolf and applies an additional freezing effect. The military man apologized to Zukayan because it was an oversight on their part. The unexpected appearance of the monster confused them, but it's good that the students were there so there were no casualties. They will report their achievements to the university. Wang Han told him not to worry because he was their homeroom teacher and he would report it himself when they returned. The military man shook his hand and said that then let him report it twice because they are not so petty in the Snowy Plains army. He will attract another part of the army of the Snowy Plains here so that nothing like this will happen again. In this case, Wang Han will no longer have to worry and will be able to let the students try themselves here. The military began to tie up the carcass of the centipede and the teacher ordered the students to get off the bus. All the centipedes were destroyed. The student asked what kind of animal this was. They couldn't defeat something like that if it showed up again. Could they? This is a death sentence and they already want to go home. Wang Han began to shout and said that as they had just seen for themselves, this thing is not invulnerable. If they work together and trust their partner and spirit animal, then he dare to say that each of them is capable of killing high-level beasts. Everything will be the same for them as for Lu Liang and his group. The student says that this is not the same thing, because Lu Liang has a rare spirit animal with a 5-star rating. The highest rating on their team is only 3 stars. The student realized that he was definitely no weaker than them and he could do it too. Wang Han said that when the snow wolf fought with the centipede, he only had two stars. All the students were stunned by what they heard and began shouting that this simply could not happen. They had never seen the skill this snow wolf used before. Wang Han said that the beasts they were tasked with testing were ordinary low and mid-rank beasts. But it's still a beast, and if they're not careful, they could get hurt. Zukayan thought about it and realized that the strength of an otherworldly beast was very different from the strength of a spirit beast which was also an ordinary level. He raised his hand and asked the teacher, is the gradation of the beast the same as the gradation of the spirit beasts? Wang Han said that the gradation is the same, but for some reason, otherworldly beasts of the same level are usually a level higher than those on the spirit star. Of all the otherworldly beasts compared so far, although the differences between individuals and races were different, they were all better than the spirit beasts on the spirit star. As they all know, there are seven classes of spirit beasts in the spirit star. Ordinary, Elite, Lord, Monarch, Legend, Holy Spirit, Disaster. There is only one person living on the snowy plains whose spiritual beast has the level of a monarch. As for the legendary spirit beasts, he had never seen them either, let alone the holy beasts and those above them. Legend has it that the appearance of a catastrophic animal spirit is accompanied by great disaster, such as tsunamis, drought, volcanic eruptions, multi-year thunderstorms and much more. It is a force that human beings simply cannot resist. A student asked the teacher, is it possible to make a contract with a catastrophic spirit beast even if it is so powerful? Wang Han thought and said that the legend says that the human emperor of the ancient spirit beast era united the spirit planet with the help of a catastrophe class spirit beast he bred. If the soul is not strong enough, then it will not be able to withstand the power of the contract from the soul of a high-level spirit animal. This is why they must wait until their souls are strong enough to begin making contracts with spirit beasts when they reach adulthood. Of course, if there is a high-class spirit animal that is willing to suppress themselves in order to accommodate their soul power, it will not be possible for them to enable a soul contract. Accordingly, there are seven levels of spirit control according to the classification of spirit beasts. Beginner, Journeyman, Professional, Master, Patriarch, Glorious, Hall of Fame. Simply put, if they have a spirit animal of the appropriate level, they can apply for the exam through the Spirit Control Association, and after passing the exam, they will be issued a corresponding spirit control certificate. 
On the other hand, they can use the perception of their spirit animals, either through the natural sensitivity of the whole soul spirit controller or through the use of a device. This is used to measure the maximum psionic power of beasts and determine their level. His snow eagle, for example, is a unique snow plains five-star elite level spirit beast, capable of awakening wind and ice elemental skills with a maximum soul power of 54-0. Otherworldly and the random appearance of otherworldly beasts, predatory animals or enemies that deprive them of their habitat. Why are they here? The discovery of the other world is unpredictable and they will need to learn how to behave when monsters invade. They must protect themselves and help others. The students looked at him with hope and the teacher said that their next step was to hunt animals in pre-divided groups of three in specially designated areas. Points will be awarded for the trophies they bring in the stars. The students were filled with determination and started shouting that if they could deal with the high-level beasts, then wouldn't they be able to kill the low- and mid-level beasts? They can do it and decided to get down to business. Wang Han was happy that it worked and looked at the jubilant students. Zhu Kayan arrived here from the ground and seemed to have also fallen through the time rift. Maybe he, too, is actually an animal that eats people. He looked at Yan Yao and began to bite her hand, just like his spirit beast would do. Wang Han said that they would spend a week in a specially designated place outside the country and he hoped that each of them could learn something. In a place like the other world, where there are so many possibilities, they must be very careful. The source of danger here is not only animals. He looked at the students, who seemed not to be listening to him, but still he hopes that they can understand it. The students started screaming that despite what the teacher said, the higher the star rating of the beast they kill, the higher the result. They will be able to win due to the number of animals killed. They need to find a good place with a lot of monsters, because they should not fall too far behind their classmates. Zhu Kayan took a fighting stance and said that he will do what he is told, they will do what he says. Yun Yao looked at the cones and said that the snow plane army gave them 10 super powerful recovery potions. Fluffy and the snow elf drank the potion and their soul power was quickly restored. Soon they will be able to hunt otherworldly beasts too. Zhu Kayan and the husky looked at the potion and said that it looked like a very tasty drink. Yun Yao hid the cones and said that this was a drink for a spirit animal. Lu Liang invited them to go deeper, as agreed. He doesn't know if they noticed, but although the danger of the other world was crossed out, they were not told that they were forbidden to explore this world beyond its certain area. Yun Yao pours the potion into the husky's mouth and asks if this means that the school and the Snowy Plains army would actually agree with such behavior. Lu Liang asked Zhu Kayan what he thought about this. Zhu Kayan is actually very curious, was the centipede really an accident? Don't they think there's something wrong with the Snowy Plains army? The number of people in the camp is too small. Lu Liang asked if he really meant to say that this battle was planned in advance. But judging by the way the teacher reacted, it doesn't seem like he knew about it in advance. Yun Yao said that it was because the Snow Plains army was dissatisfied with them not having a high level but being forced to switch sides by students. Maybe that's why they want to cause trouble for them. Zhu Kayan says that if what she says is true, then that would be good. His greatest fear is what happens behind him. As a result, the Snowy Plains army was unable to deploy more men. That other world, when he got here, always gave him an uneasy feeling. Lu Liang said that this shouldn't happen. Zuo Ryu himself explored the other world and even if he could not suppress it, then the Snowy Plains or even the entire northern part of Yunju would be finished. Zhu Kayan patted them on the shoulder and said that the two of them were too scared. Since they still haven't killed them, it can be assumed that the situation is still under the control of the Snowy Plains army. This is not something they need to think about, so they need to quickly go to the depths and score a lot of points. The stronger the beast, the more points it is worth. Yun Yao and Lu Liang looked at each other and asked him to wait for them. The students also moved further into the forest and the guy named Jiang got angry. He started screaming that he got slow worms. Every second of time they waste increases the chance that the monsters have already been killed by someone else. He thought, why couldn't he go on this mission alone? The student said that at this rate they would soon go beyond the given territory. Did he really decide to go straight into the abyss? Maybe they'd better set up an ambush right here. Jiang started shouting that they don't understand anything and that in general they are ignorant. This is all a trick of the university and if they kill the monsters from the abyss, then they can get a lot more points. That is why they must go as quickly as possible. The students were scared, but still followed him. At this time, Zhu Kayan's team also headed into the abyss. Since nothing prevented them from going beyond the boundaries of the territory, it means that the university did not object to hunting the monsters of the abyss. It's dark here and they should be careful and also look around. Yun Yao asked Zhu Kayan, didn't they come to the abyss for points? Zhu Kayan decided to make a bait animal out of the snow and she started shouting at him that he was just playing in the snow. Lu Liang said that their spirit beasts needed a little more time to regain their strength. Yun Yao stopped being threatening and said that this was quite fun. She pushed the bait animal and it turned out that it was a husky. Zhu Kayan asked everyone to be quiet and said that Urha had detected some movement. 
It seems that these movements are coming from the outside. They saw a frog with a backpack on its back. Su Kyan realized that it was a white frog. Yun Yao said that the white frog with copper pupils is definitely a snow toad. She thought that this toad only existed in the midst of the snowy plains, so she did not expect to see it in real life. Zhu Kian asked if there is evidence for this. Lu Liang guessed that the snow toad was an even rarer beast than his snow elf. Zhu Kian held Ura by the tail and asked, What is the toad's strength? Lu Liang says it's not about power. The strength of this toad is that it is species-specific. In legends this toad is also called precious. This toad's combat effectiveness is weak, but it has interesting abilities. The snow toad itself is a rare creature, plus it has a keen sense for valuable objects. With the help of this ability, it will be easier for them to find all sorts of precious artifacts, but they themselves often simply cannot take them. Therefore, they do not need to worry about evolution, because they can find the items they need for this themselves. In addition, snow toads have the ability to stealth, so they are not so easy to find in their natural habitat. Yun Yao remembered a legend. Several decades ago there was one disciple, a spirit tamer. At that moment he had just joined the recruits, the night adventurers. One day he was ordered to lead a group into the snowy plains to complete a mission, but on the way they were caught in a snowstorm. There the blizzard was so strong that even his beast, with whom he made a contract, could not cope with it. They soon separated from each other and became completely lost. However, she does not know whether, fortunately or unfortunately, he found a snow toad in which life was barely preserved. Presumably the toad was brought there due to a hurricane. He saved the life of this toad with the help of a special tonic medicine. Then he went with his new companion to a mysterious place. Zhu Kian asked, what then? Could it be that he obtained high-ranking rare items and became the most powerful contractor? Yun Yao confirmed this. After the toad helped find the treasure, she showed him the way to the lost treasure. After his elite rank spirit beast absorbed this artifact, he immediately jumped to the rank of monarch, surpassing the rank of lord. Lu Liang says that this is not a legend, but the pure truth. They originally had two sun adventurers, but for unknown reasons, one of them left the snowy plains and moved towards the cloud island. Zukayan said that this means that this toad will also make him a sun adventurer. He ran to the toad and asked it not to run away. Among the items for the evolution of Ura there is just one interesting space-time crystal. Zukayan searched for a long time and found absolutely nothing, now all hope lies in this toad. He fell into the snow to catch the toad, but she jumped back. Zhu Kian realized that the toad was telling him that someone was chasing it. Suddenly Yun Yao shouted to him to be careful and asked the Fluffy to help. In the distance, they saw many wolf beasts, which came here just in time, because Zhu Kian was worried that he would not be able to farm points. These are grey wolves of regular rank, 5 stars. Lu Liang summoned the elf Zio AI and activated the ice song. The beast rushed at Urha, but he activated his claws piercing the ice. An Urha with three stars had no problem attacking a beast with five, even without awakening the spirit of the supreme beast. The guys realized that they didn't even need their help. This snow wolf is too strong. Urha dealt with all the wolves with lightning speed and reported to the toad about the work done. Zukayan praised him for protecting the toad. He patted the husky on the head and suddenly something flew in their direction. Urha managed to see this attack and dodged at the last second, causing the ice projectile to crash against the wall. Zukayan realized that now it was no longer a beast, because he would not be able to attack his target so clearly. Don't they think it's a little rude to greet friends this way? In fact, normal people usually greet each other. They saw their classmates ahead of them and the guy said that it was just a greeting, so he shouldn't take it to heart. They didn't want to offend him in any way. He realized that they needed to test the waters. Since Zukayan was able to resist the ice spear, it means it's better not to mess with him openly. The other guy said they didn't mean anything bad and were just passing by. They planned to save the snow toad like knights at the very last moment in order to win her sympathy, and then these idiots appeared and beat them to it. Zukayan asked, so what does he need? If they don't have any questions for them, then don't let them bother them in vain, because they're making snowmen here. The guy asked if this was some kind of secret name for some plan. They didn't want anything like that, they just want to take that snow toad over there. They have been chasing this beast for a very long time. Zukayan suggested that they ask the toad themselves whether it would like to go with them or not. These scoundrels jumped out as soon as they got rid of the beast. A fool will understand that they have long hidden in a secluded place so that later they can look like heroes. He stroked the croaking toad and told it not to worry. It turns out that the snow toad discovered them a long time ago. Maybe they themselves set these animals on the frog. The guy looked at his friends and asked Zukayan, he doesn't want to attack them, does he? Zukayan asked, how can they even say such things? He's not as shameless as they are. One of the guys got angry, but the other one told him to stop. When the frog is in their hands, they will show him their strength. Zukayan began to tease the angry guy and said that he was too nervous. Yun Yao said that they had been tracking the snow toad for a long time, but they did not save it either, but simply sat and waited. 
Lu Liang guessed that their appearance had disrupted their plans. They will see how Zhu Kian will act in this situation. The guy approached the toad and, calling it precious, extended his hand to it so that it would go to him. Instead, the toad spat at him with a powerful blast of water. It looks like this toad doesn't really want to go to him. The guy doesn't understand what this sticky liquid is on him. He got angry and was about to grab the toad, but Zhu Kian stopped him. This toad clearly doesn't want to go with them. What did they expect if they decided to attack the toad and force it to go with them by force? The guy started screaming for this crazy person to leave him. Zhu Kian asked, This guy is yelling at him instead of repenting of what he did, so why does he also accuse him of something? The guy shouted to the others to attack altogether. A snow marten of regular rank, four stars, appeared on the battlefield. Martin has the ability to choke and snow bomb. Only with a snow bomb in your arsenal can you increase your level at lightning speed and also skyrocket up the career ladder. The attacker may not be able to reach the heights of a solar adventurer, but at least he will certainly become a night adventurer. Zukain disrupted their plans, so they have every right to take it out on him. An ice snake of regular rank, five stars, appeared on the battlefield. Among the snake's abilities, it has an ice prison and a frosty path. A regular rank ice vine, four stars, also appeared. Among its abilities it has Liana and Sleepy Spores. Ruining a person's future is the same as killing his parents. So now Zukain should immediately return the snow toad to them, and then they might not bother them. All the animals immediately rushed to attack, and the toad hid behind the husky, who withstood the blow. The toad began to croak pitifully and Urha looked at it questioningly. Zukain asked, are they talking about the future? Weren't they the ones who sent those animals that were chasing the snow toad? The guy asked how he knew this. Was he really watching them all this time? Zukayan shouted to Ura that they had fresh meat. After that, Ura began to pick up the gray wolf's claws from the ground. The guy said that this snow wolf was somehow suspicious and they should be careful with him. The red-haired guy asked, is this Lu Liang by any chance? Did he also decide to get involved in a fight? Isn't he afraid that their clans will quarrel over this? Lu Liang asked, inter-clan feud. But he doesn't know him at all, so this cannot in any way affect the enmity of their clans. The guy got angry and asked what he said. Lu Liang said that they are also just a small group of people. They set animals on them and he really doesn't like it. Yun Yao sighed and said that they didn't even have time to properly farm the points and they were already eager to fight with another group. She didn't even have time to make snowmen properly. The attacking guy got angry and asked how dare they look down on them. Since they were able to set the beasts on fire, it means that they have enough strength so that not even a trace remains of them. Do they really think that they came here to joke? Immediately afterwards, he activated an ice spear and directed this attack towards Zhu Kayan. Looking at this, Zhu Kayan realized that after all, they were the first to attack them on the sly. A surprise attack is half the problem, so he also decided to injure him. Ura blocked this attack and the guy activated his transformation skill. He immediately threw another ice spear and scared Zhu Kayan, but Ura protected him again. The red-haired guy asked, they didn't expect this, right? His brother is a master of offensive abilities. How could they fall into the abyss without abilities? If they already understand what's going on, then they need to give up and give them the toad. Zukayan recalled that the frog had made it clear that she did not want to go with them. A thick snow fog appeared on the battlefield, after which Zukayan noticed that the ice snake had disappeared somewhere. The guys activated the ice blast and ice vine and sent their beasts into battle. Yun Yao gained confidence and activated ice blast against ice blast. Lu Liang said that 3 against 1 is a little unfair. He activated the blizzard attack ability. Urha was confused by those violent attacks and did not know where to look. Zhu Kayan asked if they saw. They also have a master of offensive abilities. Yun Yao was upset that the snowballs were also carried away by the blizzard. The red-haired guy asked, is this a blizzard? It turns out that all the signs of large clans have gathered here. He thought that the main thing for them was not to worry, because as soon as his brother activated the frost-covered path, everything would be under control. Someone said that they need to be careful with the ice snake, because when the ice spear exploded, the snake ran away somewhere. Yun Yao pointed her finger and said that the snake was right in front of them. Immediately after this, the snake activated the ice prison and sharp ice spears began to crawl out of the ground, which scared Urha. Urha's entire body was completely covered in ice and the guy was glad that they succeeded. Zukayan asked, do they really think that such a prison will detain his beast? They should stop fantasizing, because the piercing claws of the wolf have evolved a long time ago. Urha activated a storm of piercing claws and broke out of the prison, but immediately after, he began to fall to the ground. Zukayan asked what happened. The red-haired guy said that this was his brother's strategy. They first used the unified prison to take control, then activate the frost path to create a slippery ice surface to prevent the spirit beast from moving. Everything is over with them and they defeated the snow wolf, and the rest of the animals will be easier to overcome. Zukayan grinned and the guy asked, they are losing, so why are they smiling? 
Zukayan said that, of course, they were great, that they were able to awaken such an ability, but not only Lu Liang was able to do this. The guy asked if he was intimidating them. It is impossible for the Ice Wolf to awaken an attack ability. Also after this, Zukayan activated the attack ability Ice Death. The guys were dumbfounded by this, because this is the same legendary attack ability that destroyed an entire city. They should stop scaring them, because this simply cannot happen. Arha activated his attack ability and the enemy beasts began to run away from the battlefield. It's really just an intimidation skill. The snake began to slowly crawl out, and the guys watched in shock. Lu Liang thought that in this way only Zhu Kayan would get what he wanted. The ability of intimidation, which only a born patriarch can possess, is actually used to hide the ability of Icy Doom. The elf sitting on the wolf's head activated the moonlight. Zhu Kayan smiled menacingly, because he had simply deceived them. Fluffy rushed into battle and the enemy animals began to fly back. The guy realized that this was not an icy death, but simple intimidation. Who would have thought that a snow wolf had such an ability? He activated hypnotic spores and the animals looked at the pollen falling on them. Zukayan, of course, knew that his intimidation would not have much effect on the spirit beast bound by the contract, but this guy also had the ability to control. Well, okay, maybe his intimidation didn't work, but their combat effectiveness was significantly reduced. Lu Liang called out to him and asked how he knew that they had set the animals on the snow toad. Zukayan said that he understood the snow toad's speech and Lu Liang was very surprised that he could understand the spirit beast without the possibility of a contract. He kept wondering how the snow toad could be here, since it is difficult to detect thanks to the ability of stealth that is inherent in their species. Surely, where this toad was found, there is a treasure that needs to be protected despite the danger of being discovered. The guys thought it was good that they had hypnotic arguments. Their animals barely escaped this intimidation. The snow wolf has the ability to intimidate, and this is even more absurd than the ice death. However, even spores cannot completely reduce the effect of his ability. They admitted that their plan didn't work and now they need to be careful. The hypnotic disputes have completely depleted the spiritual power of the ice vine and the guy will no longer be able to use his abilities. As far as they know, the spores are related to psychotropic abilities and allow spirit beasts to briefly enter a berserker state. Due to the intimidation, the fighting efficiency of their spirit beasts is reduced, so berserk mode is their last chance. The guy admitted that this was the only remedy in their circumstances and activated the ice vine. He ordered his beast to gather its last spiritual power and activate the hypnotic spores. The beast activated enhanced hypnotic spores and the rest of the beasts rushed to attack. Yun Yao found out their plan and Zhu Kai and asked, Is this really called the berserk state? It doesn't even reach the animals. Looking at them, Erha remembered the centipede. All the animals rushed to attack each other and began to activate their abilities. After a short battle, the enemy beasts lay unconscious on the ground. The guys ran up to them and asked if they were okay. They admit that this time they lost. Now that the war between them has started, they will not miss the opportunity to fight them in the university and restore their reputation. The frog stuck out its tongue at them and the guys began to leave. Zukayan asked, are they really leaving already? How about we resist some more? Maybe the snow toad will be moved and change his anger to mercy. The guys bought it, but the leader stopped them. They asked the head if they would really just leave and leave them a toad. If they can make a contract with this toad, then they will have the opportunity to ascend to the level of a solar adventurer. He told them to stop talking nonsense. The spiritual powers of their beasts are exhausted, so how are they going to fight further? Moreover, he has a strange feeling about this rare Lu Liang beast. He is afraid that his snow elf has not revealed all his attacking abilities to them. Zhu Kayan asked, did they really leave, leaving them with a snow toad? Lu Liang says they had no other choice. Newcomers can only enter into a contract with one spirit beast. Surely their original idea was to save the toad, and then, having won its trust, increase their level, which would give them the opportunity to conclude a contract. However, as things stand now, they don't stand a chance against them. Yun Yao suggested that in this case they too would not be able to conclude a contract with this toad. The toad approached Erha and began to croak, after which it climbed onto the wolf's head. The toad said that they found her when she came out of some cave to get food. This frog wants to take them to one place. Everyone was stunned by what they heard and immediately thought about the huge amount of treasures. It turns out that this kind toad wants to give them the treasure that it was guarding as a reward. Zhu Kayan really wished it was a disaster beast egg. Lu Liang said that this simply cannot happen. That catastrophe level beast was the only one of its kind, and besides, no one had seen it as a cub. It seems to him that this will be an incomparable treasure of the snowy plains. After that, they climbed the mountain and Zhu Kayan asked him not to run so fast. But immediately after that, their animals disappeared into the snowy fog. Zhu Kayan ran forward and began to fall through the snow into some deep cave. He asked what kind of place this was and what kind of treasure was hidden here. The frog nodded approvingly and everyone else went down into the cave. 
They did not even know or agree on the existence of such a place. They followed the toad and saw shining stones in front of them. Lu Liang asked, how did the glaciation crystal end up here? This is an ability crystal that remains after the death of a powerful beast. Inside this crystal is stored the ability that the beast possessed during life. A spirit beast that absorbed such a crystal would also be able to absorb this ability. Zukayan said that there seems to be nothing so amazing about it. It turns out that they need the beast to break the crystal so that it can awaken the ability. It's almost like an offensive ability that a seeker can awaken within themselves. Yun Yao said that this is not true at all. The abilities, other than the attacking ability, that a beast can awaken in itself are directly related to its kind. For example, a snow fox and an ice marten can awaken the ability of a snow explosion, but Urha cannot do this, which means he will not grow to the level of a ruler. But crystals are limitations. If the ice blast ability is stored inside the crystal, then Urha will be able to awaken this ability within herself. Zukayan was surprised and asked, but how to find out exactly what ability is hidden inside this crystal? Since the snow toad itself was guarding this treasure, then there must be a cool ability inside, right? Yun Yao cannot be so sure of this. Lu Liang took the device out of his pocket and said that he took the detector with him and now they will find out what is going on inside this crystal. He pointed the device at the crystal and said that it was not a snow explosion. This is the evolutionary version of a snow explosion, a snow avalanche. This is not an offensive ability, but the destructive power is only slightly inferior to snow bane. Zhu Kayan realized that this was something very powerful. He threw the crystal to Yun Yao and said that since it was an evolved snow blast ability, they could give it to her fluffy. She didn't understand his train of thought and he asked if she didn't want this. She thanked him for his concern, but fluffy can awaken this ability herself, so they shouldn't waste crystals on it. Why don't they give it to his snow wolf? Zhu Kayan offered this to Lu Liang. But his snow elf's abilities are much stronger, so he doesn't need this crystal either. Of course, this crystal is very valuable, but he must have other artifacts at home. Since they are giving up this treasure, something tells Zukayan that this ability is not as powerful as they said. He fed the crystal to Urha, but his mouth only began to drool. He asked how he should use it. Lu Liang said that Urha should absorb the crystal with spiritual energy. Urha began to contact the crystal and Zukayan asked how long it would take for this to happen. Lu Liang said that his snow elf absorbed such an ability for about an hour. Yun Yao suggested that they rest while the wolf absorbs the crystal, and then they will go farm points. Zhu Kayan got angry and said that they should have forced those three to leave them the drops from the beasts. Along the way, he realized what the teacher's words meant about the fact that danger comes not only from animals. If they were weaker, he is afraid that they would not be able to maintain the scores they have now. Lu Liang said that it was quite possible, because he had heard of such things before, so they needed to be doubly careful in the future. Yun Yao rolled up her sleeves and said that if they pestered them again, she would show them something. Half an hour later, Urha was still absorbing the crystal, which immediately collapsed afterward. The system notifies that Urha has received the rank of an ordinary beast with four stars. The maximum limit of spiritual powers reached 450 points. Zhu Kayan was already eager to try out this ability, so he invited the others to go out and try it. Yun Yao was surprised that a week ago, when she fought with Zhu Kayan, his wolf only had one star and already the fourth. The frog began to croak and Zhu Kayan said that the frog wanted to be close to Urha. Lu Liang reminded that newcomers can only enter into a contract with one beast. Yun Yao said that he could easily reach four stars in just a week, maybe it wouldn't be difficult for him to sign a contract with the second beast either. Lu Liang said that no one could overcome this limitation, even in the legends of ancient scriptures there is no such mention. They say that this is a law that appeared as soon as people began to enter into contracts. Zukayan pointed his hand at the toad, because his contract can be turned into an application format in the system. There must be free space there. Golden lights appeared around them and Lu Liang was dumbfounded by it. How is this even possible? They can't believe that Zukayan could actually do it. Lu Liang advises him to hide it in a secret place, otherwise it will be bad if someone sees it. He looked at his phone and decided to look at the statistics of a snow toad of regular rank, three stars. The toad's condition is excellent, and among the abilities, the toad has stealth and eight-sided treasure. The snow toad is a rare spiritual beast with an easygoing character and is not afraid of the human race. Has the ability to find treasures. When the treasures from eight directions skill is activated, the toad randomly selects one of eight directions and goes there. As soon as the toad finds the necessary treasures, it returns to the master and gives the treasure. Before searching for treasure, the snow toad activates its stealth ability, blending into its surroundings to avoid the attention of enemies. However, as soon as the toad finds the treasure, then with joy he forgets about this caution. The frog croaked happily and Zukayan asked her to activate the treasure on eight sides ability. The frog activated the stealth skill and Zukayan said that he seemed to have entered into a contract with this beast, but it was as if he had not. 
Liu Liang said that it was even better because no one would know that he was able to make a contract with two beasts. Yun Yao asked, This frog won't bring him another ability crystal, will it? It's time for them to move forward too, because Zhu Kayan wants to use her as new ability as soon as possible. As soon as they left the cave, something immediately alerted Lu Liang. He said that there were footprints of someone at the entrance to the cave and they needed to be careful. Immediately after this, a pack of wolves emerged from the snowy fog. Lu Liang shouted that the beasts surrounded them. Zhu Kayan is happy about this because they will be able to try out her new ability. Yun Yao seems to have been drawn here precisely because of the absorption of the energy crystal. These are regular rank black wolves. Their characteristics range from 4 to 7 stars. Zukayan told them not to interfere and he himself would defeat these wolves. The aura of pressure that emanates from them is in no way inferior to the pressure of a centipede. He activated a snow avalanche and a snow globe began to form from Ura's mouth. The wolves watched this in fascination and the ball began to explode, releasing a powerful avalanche of snow that covered the wolves headlong. Immediately afterwards, Urha's spiritual energy dropped to zero. Zukayan is amazed that that black wolf king was of the same rank as the Scolopendra, but the snow avalanche covered him in just a matter of seconds. Yun Yao started screaming that he even buried the drop. How do they buy it from there? Lu Liang told her not to worry so much, because the points from the king would definitely not be small. Zukayan said that the ability is certainly strong but the avalanche drained all of Urha's spiritual energy at once. They will have to use this only as a reserve bargaining chip. Yun Yao asked, how should they dig up the drop? Zhu Kayan told her to rest for a while, and he and Lu Liang would dig up themselves. Urha sensed something and started barking. New animals resembling hedgehogs appeared around them. Urha has spent all his spiritual power, so Zhu Kayan will not be able to help them. Yun Yao told the guys to dig up the drop, and she would take care of these guys. Fluffy will also upgrade soon. Lu Liang said that his snow elf Xiao AI also needs to level up, so let her leave him at least one beast. Zhu Kayan regretted his decision, because he would rather fight than dig for loot. He asked Ura to help him with digging and realized that he, too, would then have to pump up his beast a little. After a while, they asked Zhu Kayan, did he not get enough sleep? Zhu Kayan, with black eyes, said that Urha has been making a lot of noise lately, which is why he is not getting enough sleep. In fact, he had been using the skillful hand ability all along to understand the beast's spiritual energy to a certain level. Yun Yao hugged the wolf and said it was okay. The main thing is that Urha is in excellent condition, and thanks to his snow avalanche they were able to accumulate so many points so quickly. They again saw the Scolopendras in front of them and decided to quickly deal with them, because they still need to have time to farm in another place. After they updated the level of their animals, they are no longer afraid of animals with seven stars. Urha activated his new skill and attacked the Scolopendra. Zukayan asked Lu Liang how many points do they already have. He can't say for sure because the avalanche kills the animals in two. At a rapid pace, they continued to deal with beasts of different ranks and sizes. They were attacked by a huge herd of buffaloes and began to run away. There are so many of them that even an avalanche couldn't cope. It looks like they've gone too deep into the wilds. At this time, Jiang was finally able to kill the seven star beast after increasing the level of the snow boar. His regular level snow boar now has five stars. Classmates said that with their powers, it was too burdensome to defeat the seven star beast. They have wandered too far from the base and if they go any further, they will not be able to return. They already have a lot of drops and they were certainly able to accumulate more points than other groups. Jiang agreed and told them to come back and tomorrow they would count their points. All this time, they have been relentlessly killing the beasts, so he is confident that Lu Liang will never have more points than him. Zhu Kayan's team at this time had collected a huge bag of drops from top-level regular rank beasts. Tomorrow they will need to borrow some kind of cart from the Snowy Plains warriors. After all the students returned to the base, Wang Han said that the week-long test was completed and it was time to find out their achievements during this time. They will check the materials and level of the beasts they defeated and also count the points. When students return to the university, they will be able to exchange these points in the department for necessary materials and medicines. The one who has accumulated the most points will be awarded additionally. The students began to regret that they could have killed more animals if they had known about it in advance. Wang Han said that when he calls the name of the group, they will have to give him their drop. The students began to get nervous because the group with Lu Liang probably accumulated the most points. This is quite possible because the snow wolf from the Lu Liang group is extremely strong. Wang Han counted the drop of one of the students and said that they collected 7 animals of the middle level, 19 of the lowest, for a total of 890 points. The next group is Zhang Jiang. His teammates said that the other groups didn't even score more than 1000 points and they would definitely be the best. He turned back and saw Lu Liang holding a small bag in his hands. He looked at him confidently and thought that he had already won. Lu Liang thought that Zhu Kayan and Yun Yao went to get the cart, 
but they were already delayed too much. Wang Han began to list the animals. 32 animals of the middle level, 55 of the lowest and 2 of the highest, a total of 5750 points. The students were stunned that they scored more than 5000 points. Is Jiang really that strong? He was even able to kill two higher beasts. It seems that the only one who can surpass him can only be Lu Liang. The teacher called the next group and Lu Liang walked up to the counter. He put the bag on the counter and the teacher said that five supreme beasts would only be 5000 points. The students began to talk, but they have five top level beasts. They didn't deliberately make their way to the very depths to kill only the highest animals. Their quality is excellent, but the scores will still be lower than those of the Jiang. Lu Liang asked the teacher to wait a little longer. The disciples heard shouts from behind them to let them pass. Zhu Kian and Yun Yao rushed forward with a huge cart. 